today is Tuesday and um, it's cold and snowy outside. It's a big difference from yesterday. It was really nice. We went and spent most of the day at the park and then um, we had a picnic at the park and we played outside for most of the day yesterday. Um, but today it's snowing and really cold and very windy. So we are um, doing laundry. My husband and the three oldest kids just left to go do laundry and um, they had a few. They need to go to the bank and run a few other errands. So they will be back probably in 45 minutes maybe. Um, when, once they put the clothes into the dryer they'll come back home and uh, we'll have lunch. And then our plan is to go back to get the, the clothes out of the dryer and then we're going to head over to the rec center and play basketball and run around and maybe go swimming for a little while. So I am not feeling the best today. I was up quite a bit in the night. My stomach's been upset and not feeling great. And I'm just having a normal pregnant day of just feeling shaky and weak and tired. So um, I'm going to make lunch for us and then we'll see how we feel after that. I've got the four little kids with me now and they're playing music as you can hear in the background and dancing around. Yesterday at the park we had a little excitement. Kendon got hit in the mouth with a frisbee. Uh, it was a disc golf frisbee so it was heavy and it knocked out his <laughs> front tooth. Um, so he is, will be toothless for a few years. Kendon, come here for a minute. His lip looks way better this morning than it did yesterday. It was very swollen yesterday that you couldn't really even see inside his mouth. Um, but it's a lot better today. Come here for So I'll try to show you. I want. To, I just want to see your tooth. Can I? Sh can you show me your tooth? So you can see he's got a small cut on his lip. Say cheese. And when he smiles, you can see he is missing his front tooth now. So it uh, it pulled out the whole tooth. It didn't break, which I'm thankful it wasn't just like a broken tooth. Um, that we'd have to go get fixed. Let's see, where'd it go? Kendon! Kendon, where did your tooth go? Oh, it was here somewhere. Where? Okay, okay. Where did your tooth go? It's not in there. Do you know where it went? You had it this morning. Well, I guess we'll have to find it later. There you go. Alright, so I found the tooth. It's on the table. Um... You can see it pulled out the whole root. I don't know if it's going to focus. Anyway, it's about uh, half an inch long probably with the root on there. Which I was... I knew that teeth were long. You want to show it? Okay. So he hasn't complained about his mouth being sore or anything, which I was kind of surprised. I thought for sure his mouth would hurt, but he has not complained about that, so that's good. Don't eat this. Don't eat that. Ah. Yeah, don't eat your tooth. Okay, we'll put it back in here now. Oh, yeah. That way we don't lose it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a... Large family pile of unmatched socks oh, that I've been saving, and every 
every few weeks so I pull them out and uh, see if there's any anything that goes together and I'm really tired of keeping them all up there so I think today we just did laundry so whatever we don't match we're going to throw in the trash can what? So, we'll see what we come up with here. Oh, you have to know. And he, and he And actually, did. see, like... Oh, you did. How come? Because somebody was underneath there, and they bumped I my valve a little too. bit. Oh. And it was bypassing the hot water, so it was getting a half and half. Oh, okay. Ooh. So, the thing we have hot water. Okay. So, these two socks are different colors. One is white, one is gray. But they are the same size, so I'm going to make them a pair. <laughs> because we seem to run out of socks really quickly around here. And it'll be uh, good to have an extra pair. This is what we have left. Um, go ahead and fold those ones. I'm going to make these two a match because they're the same size. And fold those. And then I'm going to keep a couple. I think they have the matches in the drawer. That one also for the little girls. Is that, that one? one has a match. Okay. But these ones is what's left with no, no match that we know of anywhere. And I think this one came in the washing nice. machine. It was already in there, so it was at the it. laundry mat. Yeah, I pull so it out. It's not even oh, ours. Ours. So we did pretty good. We actually got quite a few pairs of socks out of that. So I think like that now I can throw these away and start over. I'm sure in a few months we'll have another large pile of unmatched socks. Yeah, I'll have to uh, sew it. I think. I'll have to look at it. So I wanted to share a thing that blessed me. Today, I have not been feeling well. Today, I'm kind of having a rough day. My, I think my blood sugar levels are off, and my and I going out. I would chip in and take it. <laughs> Skyla may just going outside to play for a little bit. Um, and it's not night. Oh, it's been night. No, it's daytime still. And I did not sleep well. Bye -bye. I've been having some tummy issues. So, I just this morning. Um, with my husband being home, we had planned on going to the rec center today, which I don't think we're going to now, um, because the baby's sleeping and the, everyone's outside playing and having a fun time. So we might save that for another day. But um, he took the three older kids. They went and took all the laundry to the laundry mat. They did the laundry, um, and then when they went to pick it up, I expected them. You know, our plan was they would just bring everything back here and we would fold it all together and get it all put away well they ended up folding everything at the laundry mat which I wondered why they were gone for almost an hour I thought that was strange that they were gone that long but um, they said when they got there some of the things were not dry so they had to wait for them to dry anyway and decided they'd just start folding things and um, ended up folding everything at the laundry mat so that was a blessing for me that um, they did all that work and I didn't have to. <laughs> uh, when they got home I did help sort and put clothes away and I went through two of the kids' clothes and got rid of a lot because they just had too much. It was overflowing out of their drawers and they weren't wearing it all so um, it was just a little blessing for me today from my husband. Kaylee and Coulter are playing outside but they're FBI agents. Texas Rangers. Oh, they're Texas Rangers. These are their wanted posters that they keep bringing over. It's hard to see them because the wind's blowing them around. Well, this is the end of our day. We just finished dinner and now we're just watching a movie. And then we'll be um, going to bed here in a little while. We've got a couple movies we're going to watch. Anything with fat in it?
Grizzly bear cubs are cute and playful, but short of a raging wildfire, an adult grizzly is about the largest, most fierce thing a person can encounter in a western forest. They can stand 10 feet tall, and their bite is said to be powerful enough to crush a bowling ball. Most grizzly bears' fur is See the brown, bear? hence their other name, brown bears, but it can range from blonde to almost black. The surest way to identify them is by the color bump between their shoulders. Mom, why you? Mom, why you? Why you? The mommy had a baby. Oh, because she had two babies. And don't ever, 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 